Once upon a time, there were two brothers, one rich and one poor. The older brother, who was the rich one, decided to take a journey around the world. And the younger brother, who was poor, decided to take a journey around his own garden. And this is just what Elder Hartley has done in making this film. It's all from her own backyard, noticing what people don't ordinarily see. For the great problem of civilization is to come back to our senses. We say to a person, come to your senses when he's acting crazily or unwisely. But the trouble with all civilized peoples, both of the East and of the West, is that they confuse what comes in by their senses with the words and other symbols with which they describe them. The world itself isn't words. It isn't concepts. It isn't ideas. It's true, of course, that words are physical noises. But even the very notion that the world of nature is material or physical is in fact a philosophical concept. It's a network of words. And the real world, which philosophers are always struggling to define, can never be defined. It's not material, it's not spiritual, it's not mental. It is what it is. The great semanticist Alfred Korzybski called it rather amusingly the unspeakable world. For this world is a multidimensional network of all kinds of vibrations, spectra of vibrations, vibrations of color, vibrations of sound, vibrations of texture, vibrations of emotion and feeling. And when we are babies, we experience it just as our whole muttering jazz of different textures of experience. As we grow up, our elders and betters, our parents, teachers, uncles, aunts and peer groups tell us what vibrations are good and what vibrations are bad. And naturally, because as little infants we are very impressionable, we believe what they say.